giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today, Special Agent Lee Leiter from the Iowa Division of Narcotics Enforcement. Welcome. Thank you. So we're going to talk today about the Drug and Endanger Children Program. Can you tell us a little bit about it, the background or how this program came to be? Yes, this was initially in Iowa. It was a response to children that we found in meth lab situations. Um, we've since realized that these children live in drug environments, whether it's a dealer or uh, someone who uses and has a substance abuse disorder or um, is transporting. There's, there's children at risk in every one of those situations. But our initial start in the program was just a response to meth labs. We realized that was a mistake. Tell us a little bit about you know, the program, specifically what your hopeful hope is, you know, the mission, that kind of thing. I was asked a question um, early 2003, and that was, at the time I'd been in drug enforcement for about five years, and a question was posed during a plenary at a conference saying, we've done all this enforcement over these years for uh, the drug problem nationwide and specifically in Iowa. Is the drug problem better or worse? And if it's worse, which we all thought it was, what are we missing? with all the money and all the enforcement that we do. And one component of that was the children were getting missed. So if you grow up in a home with, say, in my home, father, police officer, mother, a registered nurse, was it a guarantee that I was going to follow one of those paths? No, but it was obviously an influence or I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. So if you grow up in a home with substance abuse, you grow up in a home with drug dealing and all the chaos and, and odd schedules and everything that goes on in those homes, it, it puts those children at risk. And having someone with a substance abuse disorder in the home, that becomes normal for that child. Um, and we also recognize that our services were fragmented. Between the family court and the criminal court are two different timelines. Um, is it the best thing to remove a child from that family? Uh, and take the child into protective custody, or is it better to have the, the guardian, the parent, go into rehabilitation and have the family as a unit go to treatment so everyone can be healed and, and reunified? Now, in some cases, that's just not possible, but the, the goal of the program is to have healthy, happy children here. What are some of the components of this program, and how are they trying to help minimize the trauma to these children? It's coordinating services in that, uh, so we don't operate in our own little silos, to make sure that the CPS workers for DHS and that the criminal investigators that are working the case and the prosecutors, that we're all, we're all on the same team, even though we all operate professionally very different, that when we encounter that child, however we encounter that child, that at the end, it's the best outcome for them and their family. That's, that's the goal. Can you talk to us a little bit about how your role and this program and this program is helping that process? Awareness. Um, we are just an executive board um, and it's, uh, we have medical professionals, we have uh, child protection services, law enforcement. We're all trying to work together and coordinate services. Is this a program or is there education? Is there an education component? There is. Um, there is scientific research that's been done both at the national level and at the state level and that information is available through uh, the Office of Drug Control Policies website. There's a link to the Iowa Alliance for Drug Endangered Children and nationally there's a great resource at the National Alliance for Drug Endangered Children website. So for more information where could somebody go? National Office, of, I'm sorry, the Iowa Office of Drug Control Policies website or the National Alliance for Drug Endangered Children program. Well, doing good things for our community. We really appreciate your time, Lee. Thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.